Hey guys, we're here and I'm talking about FIFA. Why? Because EA apparently is being sued due to FIFA Ultimate Packs. Now, for those who don't know what those are, those basically loot boxes. Apparently, someone is suing because they spent about $600 on packs in both Madden and FIFA since 2011. And apparently, they're not the only ones suing it. Apparently, like, there's going to be more people, I think, getting involved. There's going to be like $5 million in total that they're suing EA for. But here's the thing. I'm going to take this from both sides. First, I'll do it from the consumer perspective. Yes, I believe... Y'all guys can correct me if I'm wrong here, but I believe that certain players are only available in FIFA through packs. Like, you can't get them any other way. You just have to buy packs and hope that you get them, right? Now, that's the thing that I think EA is really doing wrong. What I think EA should do, and I know EA probably won't because this would probably cause them to make less money because a lot of people would opt in if, let's say you just wanted one big player, right? And you could get him by just paying 25 bucks. Yeah, $25 just to get your favorite player, and you don't care about any of the other players like that, really, right? So let's say that the loot boxes were worth like five bucks. Then you could say, okay, well, I could take a chance with $5, or I could pay 25 bucks and get the player. I really think EA should do that option where they just have certain really big players or whatnot available for a certain amount of money by themselves instead of having to buy them in packs. I think that would really cause a lot of these whole Clash Action lawsuits to end because if they give players the choice, then I don't think players can really sue EA for saying that they're making them gamble to try to get their favorite players or whatnot, right? Now, on the other side, if you choose, I understand even if there's not another way to get it, it is kind of shifty, but if you choose to spend your money to try to, to get certain players by getting all these packs, yeah, I still don't think that's something you can sue over. I'm not saying that it's a good policy. I'm not saying that EA is being consumer friendly because here's the thing. It's just like baseball cards or any other type of collectible cards that people used to collect. A lot of times people opted in to buy the pack, I think, and hope that they could get the card they want. Now, I'm not sure if companies ever said the only way to get this card is to buy this pack. Like they had no other way for you to buy the special card other than just getting like the special pack unless you bought it from someone else who got it from a special pack. But even if they did, I don't think anyone back in the day would have sued the companies saying, hey, you're making me spend too much money because you're making me buy the packs just to get this one real good card that I want. So it's, you know, both sides. Really, I don't think that you can sue over this, but I also think EA, this is very shifty, how you don't even allow people to be able to buy the stuff they want without getting the pack. At least I'm pretty sure they don't. I'm, I, I don't own FIFA, so I'm not 100% sure, but those of you guys who own FIFA or who played Ultimate Team can let me know whether certain players in Ultimate Team are available to be bought outside buying these loot boxes. Anyway, what do you guys think about this lawsuit? Do you think it's going to go anywhere? Do you think EA is just going to settle? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and God bless you all.